So you've been asked to create a financial report in Power BI. Then you will definitely need to add an income statement like that. Unfortunately, it's quite tricky to do this with a native Power BI functionality. But with the Zebra BI custom visuals, this becomes quite easy. Let me show you how you can do it. First of all, let's take a look at what data I have in my model. I have a simple table which only contains four columns. I have an account ID, which actually we will also be using to add a custom sort order. Then I have an account name, and then I have two value columns. I have values for the year 2018, and I have values for the year before, for the year 2017. That's all I need to create an income statement like that. So let's go into the report view and add a Zebra BI visual. I'm going to add a Zebra BI tables visual and just increase the size first and then we add the account into the category field. So I take the account, drag it into the category field and now let's also add some values. The year 18 is my current actuals so I need to add it to the values field and the year before I need to add to the previous year field. Okay, once I did this, I need to change the actuals column to an actual waterfall chart. So when you click on this little arrow next to it, you have different options of how you want to display this specific column and we want to see a waterfall so I select the waterfall option in here. As you can see, now the sorting is not the way we want it to be because an income statement always has a specific sorting. And right now, my visual is sorted by values. Uh, also as indicated by the little arrow on top of the AC column. So when you click on this, the sorting changes. And when I click again, I can then add a custom sorting and I want this to be sorted by the account. So let's click on the three dots in the more options menu and change the sort by to account. And then my whole chart will rearrange because now it is actually sorted by account but it's sorted alphabetically by account and not by my um, custom sales sort logic so let's just add this as well I select the account from the fields list and in column tools I change the sort by column to column ID which is a numeric field and of course Power BI can sort by numbers so now you can see I have net income on top product revenue on the bottom um, so I need to reverse the whole visual Again, in the More Options menu, just change from Sort Descending to Sort Ascending. Once this is done, I basically have the correct sort order, but you can see that all my visuals, all my elements are just moving forward. So I need to define which ones of my um, accounts are totals. So let's see. Product revenue is not a total. It's a positive KPI because it's a turnover, it's, it's cash in, it's revenue. So there's nothing to do there. Same for service and other revenues. It's also a revenue. And then we have a, the first subtotal, which is the total of the two positions above, naming named revenue. So this I need to define as result. So all I need to do is right click on revenue and select result. And then you see that now this bar is actually starting from zero, summing up the two positions above. Now we go on and we have below the revenues, we start with cost accounts. We call these negative KPIs because they lower our income, their cost, their cash out. So these we need to reverse. So again, I right click and then select invert. And then you can also see that this 3.5 is now deducted from the total revenue. And I need to do this for most of the positions down here. 
for service and other costs. And then actually gross margin is again a subtotal. So this should be defined as a result. Research and development is costs. Most of the following positions are actually costs, so they all need to be inverted. Then operating income is again a total or subtotal. So again, right click and define as result. And you can see that this is really now matching, right? Whenever a one um, element stops, the next one starts. So this one, it's looking great. I have other income net and then income before income tax, of course, is a result again. And then I have provisions from income tax, which in most cases should be a cost account, so it needs to be inverted. And then the net income is our grand total, so also net income needs to be defined as a result. And now we have uh, the income statement with exactly the structure as it was predefined by, by the company. There's only a few things I would add to this. So let's go over to the format pane here and in the chart settings, what I would personally do here, I would turn off the minor grid lines and it will remove this line right here. Let's turn this off. That looks nicer to me. And then also one very important thing you need to do is you need to go to interactions and you may need to make sure that sorting is turned off because this visual only makes sense if it is sorted exactly the way it is right now. Let's say I sort this by actuals. The whole thing is messed up. It doesn't make sense anymore. And you need to make sure that the end users in Power BI service, once the report has been published, don't have access to this option. So let's bring it back into the correct sort order and turn off the sorting options, which means once it's published, people cannot change the sort order. Me, as the developer of the report, I can still play around with the sort order, of course, in Power BI Desktop. This is only a function which is deactivated for the end users looking at the report. So as you can see, with only a few clicks, I created an income statement from, from scratch and of course, as always, you can download this file from the Zebra BI knowledge base and if you want to learn more, please be sure to look at all the other videos and learn more Power BI tips and tricks.